Okay, I think this is going to cause some problems uh, for my computer here. Yeah, we've crashed. Okay, everybody, welcome back to Learn With Minecraft Education. Today, we are going to be making some custom behavior packs for mods. We're going to be making some seriously angry cows that explode um, if you go anywhere near them. It's a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun making this video, so uh, make sure you watch through to the end and see how it all works. But we're going to start off uh, looking how to create this cool exploding cow behavior pack. Okay everybody, here we are in our favorite browser. We're going to search for uh, Tinker Minecraft, hit enter. Second one down there should do the job and the link to this will be in the description for the video. And we're going to be creating our own Minecraft resources and we're going to click down here on create mob. Now we are going to uh, look through the tutorials here and there's one called Angry Cow which is fantastic. Um, you will uh, not regret hanging around to see what this one's like. But first of all, we need to see how we put it together. So there's a lovely tutorial on the left here, on start, act as mob, cow. So we need to um, apply this to the cows in the game um, and no other mobs because we want it to apply only to the cows. After being damaged, uh, become angry for 20 seconds. And um, this one applies to the other cows when a friend is angry or another mob of the same type. Um, explode after 1.5 seconds and also attack the player. I guess that means the nearest player, something like that. So we download add on there in the left side and it's going to pop up with this wonderful little link that just take, it just opens up Minecraft. If we uh, download that, click on the file, it just opens up uh, Minecraft. This all will work in Bedrock Edition also. I've tested that out, it works fine. Uh, but we're running it in Minecraft Education today because that's what the channel's about. And uh, it opens up Minecraft Education and it installs uh, the resource and behavior pack. And we are going to start a new world now. So uh, let's click over here, new world, and uh, adjust some of the settings here. So um, the game mode does need to be survival. Um, obviously, if you want to have, if you want to be attacked by mobs, you need to be in survival mode. They won't attack you if you're in creative. And we need to go to the resource and behavior packs, activate our angry cow pack. And then here we go. Let's see what's going on. So um, just to set this up, I'm going to give myself a command block and I'm going to pop a lever. Yeah, let's pop a lever on the side of that. Um, then when we, when we switch the lever, it should give us uh, a cow. We'll just need to uh, forward slash summon cow in there and then each time we flick the lever we should um, pop out with an angry cow uh, well we'll have to hit it first but uh, here comes our player to flick the switch good luck to him here comes the cow and we're hitting the cows oh they're not getting angry we need to switch to survival that was it. oh here we go wow that didn't take long um so we hit the cows they got very angry here it goes again let's see what happens this time Oh my word. <laughs> so yeah, they're doing what they say. They're exploding after 1.5 seconds and uh, they're becoming very angry indeed. Let's take this to the next level. Uh, let's put a repeater block down. Whoa, that's a lot of cows. Um, let's get down there. Let's get into um, let's get into survival mode and get in amongst these guys. So let's hit a couple of these and whoa, they're turning on him. <laughs> Okay, I think this is going to cause some problems uh, for my computer here. Yeah, we've crashed. Let's go back. Whoa, we've loaded up the world. The computer's struggling a little bit here, but this is okay. We can get this stable. We're in creative mode now. Let's go out to third person and see what this looks like. This is just violent. Um, the cows on here are not happy. Um, so, I mean, it works perfectly. And you think of the, um, the upshot of this is you can affect the behaviors of lots of different entities in Minecraft and get them to behave in pretty interesting ways. This is probably the most, uh, oh my word. Okay, that repeating command block's gotta go because there are just too many cows here. It's just causing chaos. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty intense explosion of cows. Um, but this is fun, this is cool. I think, um, you know, you could ha you could create some pretty interesting lessons out of this. I think the uh, repeating command block with the cows might be a little bit over the top. It's just a constant stream of cows and they're all really annoyed. They're all taking damage all the time. And if you go anywhere near them, let's see if we can kind of move from one side to the other without getting killed too quickly. No, we're dead. Um, 
Hey, we did our best. The problem is it just respawns you. It just cre keeps creating this pit of, uh, of exploding cows and you kind of get stuck in it. And you can't get out and they just keep coming in and exploding on you. But yeah, this is cool. Um, I'm definitely going to make some more mods like this. It's cool. Uh, creating these, dragging them in. I'm going to make some more uh, videos like this, I think, because this was a lot of fun. Uh, as you can see, there's so much you could do with this. Um, if you're in survival mode, you could create fences and stuff or command blocks that summon cows at certain points in the level and stuff like that. You could maybe get... Oh, my word. Yeah, this is this is a lot of cows all going kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, there's a, there's a, there are endless possibilities with something this cool. So, um, I think, uh, you know, we could get, some, we could get some custom entities. We could probably attach this to our, our dinosaurs. You know, we did our dinosaur pack a few weeks ago and we could, um, get some really angry dinosaurs in there as well. Look at that repeating command block going mad. That's crazy. Um... So yeah, I mean, that's how it works. You guys go and check out Tinker. Uh, just make sure when you go onto Tinker, sign in with your Microsoft Office account. You should have one if you're using Minecraft Education anyway. So just sign in with that. Go to the Tinker homepage and um, have a look through those tutorials. Uh, this was the most advanced one. So I just clicked on it straight away because I thought we could handle that. And it was pretty crazy. We need to switch to, uh, we need to, switch to creative to get out of trouble here because I'm stuck in this pit again. Let's get out of here. Can I? I don't know. Yeah, there we go. Safety. The cows are just... Uh, yeah, they're not going to stop. Okay, guys. We are going to finish up there for today's video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. Uh, we'll look, be looking at some more stuff like this. I think I'm going to go live. Um, do some uh, building stuff live. And let you guys... We'll have a chat uh, on the live stream. I've been wanting to do it for a while. And I think I've got it sorted out. I think I know how to make it work. So we'll be doing a little bit of that soon. But if, if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, remember all the links uh, to today's websites are in the description. So make sure you go ahead and check them out. Uh, but that's it for today. And I will see you all later in the week.